welcome back to Glam Vampira. Katie here, if you're new, hi. If you're not, welcome back. So, um, today we're gonna be doing a Depop pickups haul. So, basically it just means what I bought on the Depop up in a while. I do sell stuff on there. I don't really have much right now, but if you wanna shop my old stuff, um, you can follow me here. So yeah, let's get started and I'll tell you about some of my new faves from there. Okay, the first piece is from um, a store called Glitzy Club. So I actually have stuff in here. So if you're not familiar with Depop, basically you could buy and sell your own stuff. So Depop really promote sustainability and kind of selling your clothes and giving giving them a new home so we love that so this one first uh pick up here is from a store called glitzy club so it came with this cute little sticker a little cloudy sticker so she cute um so yeah i really love this bag so this is like i'm pretty sure her shop is new york based so yeah this cute little baby purse, mini bag. They're really popular right now. I've gotten a few compliments like when I've been out doing errands now. Um, so this is an official Sanrio. Um, this one says Tokyo, oh, okay. Official Sanrio, Tokyo, Japan, made in Korea. And then the inside has all my shit in it, but you know, it feels really cute, has this little, um, Hello Kitty decal and then it has a strap so when it goes around your shoulder it's really cute you can also just hold it like this I mean not much can fit in here but I can fit my phone in here so that's all good I just kind of dig for my cards <laughs> like oop okay and then next thing is something that kind of took a while to ship um because he sometimes when you order um usps shipping with usps shipping it just takes so long but anyways iGirl so iGirl is like kind of the reason i guess i'm making youtube videos so she's like a kind of an icon in the deep pop community i mean some people don't really like her anymore which i don't really get because like she kind of did a lot for us you know alternative girls so just saying like her style is immaculate so anyways you know, maybe there's reasons that I don't know, but anyways. Um, so what I'm wearing right now is um, an iGirl um, top from the, I think it's called the Scully set. So it's basically like a little lingerie, um, kind of like 90s, 2000s um, inspired t-shirt um, material, cotton you know, little lounge pajama laundry set. So these are really cute. Um, I do have the size large here um, and the large top too. I thought it would fit a little too um, big for me, but it fits perfect. Um, I will say the cut is really straight across. So if you do sweat like me, then you probably will sweat like, cause it's right here, right? Like if you have any inch of sweat, it's kind of there. So it is, part of that cut though so you know overall cute with the purple straps um the bows and the logo and then bows here and i think these are really stretchy i tried these on too um and they fit well i can show you a little tiktok of the full set on and also um she's been, she's big on stickers i think she has her own um so there's this cute purple duck and then a temporary tattoo which is really cute okay and then this is kind of favorite thing i did in the past little while in terms of clothing i think so this is an elmo um i think it's they call it a vintage on depop that's a big term on there um but it's not really i mean i think this might even be a 90s elmo um guy it does have a a zip up pouch in the back and it's decently roomy. Um, but I did customize this guy. I'm gonna show you the TikTok now of me customizing it into emo Elmo, but he has a cute um, safety pin, nose piercing. He's got his little um, BDSM inspired little collar. 
And then I basically took this um, fishnet, um, kind of like half top that I got from a Killstar haul a while ago, and it just didn't really fit me that well, it was super tight. So I kind of just cut it to his um, size and then I safety pinned it up in the back and so that it would stay together because I cut it um, here. Yeah, so he's really cute. Oh, I also have some safety pins here. Um, I've kind of been inspired by this shop on Instagram where they kind of create punk emo or spooky um, stuffed animal backpacks. So that's where the inspo's from. But yeah, um, I'll mention the shop here of where I got the basic Elmo and I just customized him. And he's good for actually going around, you know, wherever doing errands because he actually has room for stuff in him. So love that. And Elmo's one of my favorite like childhood characters. So now he can go everywhere with me. Ooh. Okay, and then next is a more recent one. After I got Elmo, I saw Yoshi scrolling through Depop and I was like, yo, I love Yoshi. Like if anything, he's one of my favorite Mario characters. Yoshi and Mario Party, that's who I'm playing with. So don't play with me. Um, so this is also a, I believe, um, 90s or 2000s, like kind of older Yoshi um, model that is a backpack and I got it from this girl on Depop. So it does have a zip up underneath the shell, but I think the inside here is stitched closed where the zipper was. So I'm gonna probably um, seam rip that and maybe check out where the zipper is because I would like to use it as a backpack, but stay tuned. I haven't really figured that out yet or worn them out much, but yeah, super cute pink Yoshi. Um, I'm more traditional in the sense of that I might want the green Yoshi. And, you know, I'm kind of surprised that I got a pink one, but hey, pink, so cute. So yeah, here's Yoshi as a backpack. This one I didn't customize other than this old Dolls Kill ch Choker that I had. Um, so yeah, love him and that's everything that I got in the most recent um, Depop haul. Um, I did order like a Hello Kitty hat, like a trucker hat and some like rat earrings. So those aren't included, but I might include them in a upcoming haul. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more hauls or other videos. Let me know what you'd like to see. Bye. Mm -hmm.